What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another Monday of me being on the edge of my sanity. But there is some reasonable news this week and I would like to start with some reviews from my lovely customers. So the first review is for the meat granola. Outstanding. I'm totally impressed by this. Gave some to my unsuspecting fiance and they had no idea it was beef. Thought it was just some tasty granola at first. I'm going to do as the reviewer below me suggests, put it in some milk with some extra honey. I bet that's delicious, amazing product. Yeah, I've told you guys a couple times, it's nice to have a animal-based product that is really like 90% beef protein, but it doesn't taste like it. So it's great for kids, it's very approachable, people who need more protein in their diet. Then we have a review for the apple banana macadamia nut bars. Lovely, good consistency and quite flavorful. It's definitely sweet, but not overly. You can tell the ingredients are super authentic and fresh unlike the garbage at the grocery store. Yeah, so I go to Whole Foods a couple days a week and every single time I've looked through the ingredient list on the granola bars or energy bars or protein bars they have there, I mean, it's all vegetable seed oils and processed nuts. And so you, you really can't find anything else like this because we do make it fresh on like a bi-weekly basis. Then we have a review for Flextrose Premier Glucose Drink. Amazing, only organic carb powder on the market. And I'll say this over and over again, guys. I feel like Flextrose was my most creative genius business idea yet. <laughs> yet it's like one of the least successful, but what do you do when you're censored? So um, it's like a bodybuilding glucose drink, but it's also great for a sugar replacement, anyone who has liver damage, a really amazing product because all the other stuff, dextrose made from agrochemical corn, it's, it's not good. Our last review is for the grass-fed roast beef, best roast beef ever. I was very intrigued when Frankie announced that roast beef was being added to FFRM. I really hope this stays in stock for long term because the stuff is special. The meat is lean, rare, and it's perfect as a source of lean protein. I either eat it by itself or on some sourdough with organic mustard. Packaged very conveniently as 8 ounce portions, perfect for an easy pull out of the fridge dinner. Thanks, Frankie. So I really wanted to give you guys a taste of, I guess, somewhat uh, culinary expertise because all these processed meat products that you get in the supermarket that are ready to consume, they're not grass-fed, most of them aren't organic, they're not high quality, and even if they are, they're super expensive and they do not taste good. So uh, I'm happy that you guys enjoy the roast beef. I'm going to try to keep it in stock as much as possible, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sticking it out. So let's take a look around, show you guys what's going on, and then I'll, I'll talk about the, I guess, good news and bad news, because the bad news is i got to do a lot more work <laughs> if the good news pans out. So... Uh, for once in a blue moon, the post office actually showed up and they're picking up the packages. So we got about 100 orders going out from the weekend on uh, the non-meat businesses, Frankie's for Age Foods, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Most of those are the Frankie's for Age Foods orders because I've been adding more and more products over these past few weeks on Frankie's for Age Foods. And you know, when you guys are buying all these, this different stuff, it really, really drives me crazy. Let me, let me show you. There's just so much stuff going on over here. So we have all the fat products like the pork lard, we got the lamb tallow over here. Down there we have the regular beef tallow as well as the Wagyu beef tallow which we will be out of soon. But there's really just too much stuff guys. We got pemmican, we got the chocolate best bars back in stock. We have the apple nut bars, I didn't show you guys this, it's a new label so it's red apple nut best bar. And we have the vanilla bars back in stock as well. We have flavor jerky, slightly new formula, so definitely let me know how you guys like that. Of course, we have the meat granola, and we have some plain jerky as well. My guys have some more Best Bars to put away. Over here, you guys have seen this. We have the Bolivian Rose Salt, Land Salt, and then we have the new product from a few weeks ago, Frankie's Steak Seasoning. Then over here, there's the whey protein, and in this bin is some of the flex drills. We're actually uh, running out of the flex dress as well. And that doesn't include the water kefir. We have apple lemon, pineapple, as well as plain. And then we have the collagen broth as well as the chicken stock. Guys, so many products on frankie2rangefoods.com. And if we do get the eggs in about a month, which I haven't told you guys yet, it looks like we're going to have uh, corn-free, soy-free eggs available. Those are going to be available on frankie2rangefoods.com because I cannot ship eggs with the meat products. They are too bulky, too delicate and they do not have to be refrigerated. So we have our roast beef in stock. Decent amount of portions left. Uh, for the cheeses, we're kind of running out of everything besides the A2 farm cheeses. We have the Gouda, the Colby, and the cheddar. There's a decent amount of the beef collagen broth left, 
and uh, we should have some fresh chicken soup stock available uh, this week. So the orders have picked up a little bit on Frankie's Free Range Foods and I'm kind of having a hard time keeping up. But on the meat website, we have been running out of stuff and my suppliers haven't been able to restock it. Uh, particularly like the pork bacon and the beef bacon. Uh, we won't have the Iberico pork bacon back for like a week and a half, two weeks. And the beef belly bacon isn't going to be back until June. But we do have one pound beef portions, although I know you guys like the uh, thin slices more. I should actually have some wild boar bacon this week for you guys. So that was my replacement. We'll probably have some wild boar bacon to hold you guys over until we get the uh, pork bacon back or until my arm falls off from opening this freezer. So I think just about every week for the most part, we've had a new product uh, on Frankie's Shrew Range Meats. Uh, this week, I think it's just gonna be uh, the ground Iberico pork is gonna be back in stock. We have some ground ribeye steaks back in stock and uh, all, all the, the paper nonsense is fixed. So you guys that got a discount because of, uh, of me using, I tried to use a more natural paper that didn't have as much like chemicals in it, but it didn't work. So, so we have everything fixed, but uh, hopefully some of my suppliers pull through over the next few weeks and we can get some stuff back in stock. So yeah, we have the ground ribeye steak back in stock. I think this is like 13 or $14 a pound. Really, really delicious guys, very, very tender. And we'll have the ground Iberico pork in stock as well. Oh, I almost completely forgot. All of this and all of this is our Angus beef. So we'll have the 20 pound Angus beef package back this week. Yeah, and for lack of better terminology, there's a lot of, uh, eh, I won't say the word, I won't say the word, but uh, some other not so savory people, you know, they brag about, oh, our meat is regenerative, it's grass fed, it's chilling the planet. This Angus beef is from a local farmer that, you know, he's, he's not doing so well, he's a little bit down on his luck financially, so. I gave, I gave paid the guy way more than I should have for the, for the beef, so. Um, you guys are supporting local farmers, you know, I'm doing the guy a favor, I'm kind of breaking even on it, but um, at least before I disappear and move to Colombia, I might as well do a few good deeds. I'm telling you guys, if I could speak Spanish or if I was bilingual, I would be out of here already. But uh, my brain is fried from taking all these medications and stuff. All right, we're gonna head down into the interrogation dungeon. We have a lot of water kefir in stock, guys, and I reduced the price to about $8 a bottle, so, you know, I'd rather be sold out of it and not have any inventory, then, um, then then keep the price a little higher. My uh, supplier of the Mountain Valley Water, actually, they said they're increasing prices. And he was like, oh, I have four pallets left. So now I have like <laughs> seven pallets of Mountain Valley Water sitting in my basement. God knows how long that's gonna last me. Organ supplements, not much going on. I mean, you know, we have a lot of products, guys. We have the vitamin mineral stuff, the bovine powders, but none of, none of my suppliers are, are getting back to me. You know, I've been trying to get the adrenal powder back in stock for a while. Frankie's Naturals, we might have a bug spray available within the next few weeks. I've wanted to do a bug spray, natural bug spray for a while. And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put it on organ supplements or Frankie's Naturals, but we should have that. Uh, I have the formula, probably gonna make it next week. Wi-Fi shielding, I'm gonna try to restock some of the t-shirts and underwear. I did do a price cut on the joggers and sweatpants, the um, full, full body coverage, full leg coverage, and I don't know, I probably shouldn't reduce the price, but I just, I just can't afford to have, you know, all this inventory worth of silver fabric. It's, it, the stuff is so expensive and I'm broke, so I gotta just reduce the price and get most of it out of here. And we should have some more, like, household Wi-Fi shielding stuff within the next, uh, next month or two, some more interesting products. So, you know, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, but again, like, I don't know if it's just all of these suppliers and vendors and UPS and, and stuff are increasing their prices because you know, I've tried to increase my prices correspondingly. The business has been going consistently, but I honestly, I just haven't been, been profiting and I don't know how much longer I can stick this out. So uh, I guess the better news is uh, I did find a delivery driver to bring the eggs and dairy on a weekly basis. Even if we couldn't do a weekly basis, we could have just done uh, the eggs on a monthly basis. So we're definitely gonna have corn and soy free eggs uh, in about a month, a month and a half, I don't know. But we're gonna have them available for probably frankiestrangefoods.com. Of course, I'll do an announcement and everything when we get them. I've just been debating whether I want to do corn and soy-free hypoallergenic eggs or just corn and soy-free pastured eggs. I'm leaning towards the hypoallergenic eggs because I could eat those myself and people that even don't eat corn and soy-free eggs could eat those as well. I also wanted to do the feed experiment on some dairy as well to do some hypoallergenic dairy, although I wanted to keep that feed kind of a secret to myself and wait till I had my own farm to do it. Um, it'd be nice if I can jump on it, but 
I haven't seen any other farmers doing it, and I think it would be really unique in the sense that people with really severe dietary restrictions would be able to, to consume it. So the feed would be corn and soy free, but it would also be hypoallergenic. So I'm gonna call up the feed mill this week. I'm probably gonna front the cost of a few tons of feed, which is like $2,000. Have it sent to the farmer. He's gonna put like one or two cows on the feed exclusively and some chickens on the feed exclusively. And we're gonna test it out for two months. Because yeah, I know I don't even have, like I don't even have grass fed milk and butter and cream for you guys. I don't even have eggs for you guys, but Instead of jumping just to that, if I could just start with the hypoallergenic stuff immediately, which is what I'd rather sell in general, it's going to be much higher in B vitamins and, and lower in allergens. So I think it might work out better, you know, because objectively speaking, you would rather have the hypoallergenic product regardless of, of the other stuff. Anyway, I'll see how that works out. I'll keep you guys updated. I definitely have to make a few phone calls and, and get some stuff back in stock this week and, and keep things on track. But you guys can go to frank com to see all of these businesses, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Uh, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so people don't notify you of my videos. Uh, legal update, all that stuff, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it next week. I'm just, it's just too much BS going on. Too much BS. I'll see you guys tomorrow.